In this video, I thought it would be fun to go over with you all what we've been watching lately. So, because we we went on vacation and then all the vacation videos came out and they took a while to, to all come out, even though I had them every single day, um, we really haven't talked about the shows that we've been enjoying. So, I figured we would get you caught up to date in this video. Uh, so, I'm gonna go over, these are gonna include like shows and movies that we've watched and we don't and, watch a lot of movies anyway. But. No, I'm sure Kevin has forgotten some of these that I've listed, uh, but I've been trying to keep track along the way. I'm going to talk really quickly about the ones that I've watched by myself without Kevin. Um, I watched uh, season two of Why Women Kill. Um, that is a Paramount Plus show, and it um, if you if you have not seen Why Women Kill. It, uh, I think the makers of Desperate Housewives did this, and it's just the few times the few times I've looked over there, it looks like a Desperate Housewives kind of show. Yes, it's really entertaining, and I honestly think I like season two better than season one, but. Uh, I really, it's one of those that I don't want to describe a lot because you just have to see it. Um, the other, uh, a movie that I watched, um, and I hope I'm pr gonna pronounce this correctly. It was called Vivarium, and it was on Amazon Prime, and I don't know what, what it was that caught my interest, that piqued my interest. But it came out in 2019, and it has Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg that did, what was that, the social, um, the one about Facebook, right? He no, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so. And Juno, but me and Juno. So this is how, I think, he, uh, did he do Juno? It's been so long since we've seen Juno. Um, this is how it's described. A young couple looking for the perfect home find themselves trapped in a mysterious labyrinth-like neighborhood of identical houses. So that is exactly what happens, is Jesse Eisenberg and this girl, they're a couple, they're looking for a house, they go into this, this happens at the very beginning, they go into this place that's selling houses, and they go to this neighborhood, and they literally get stuck there. And it is, weird. It, it was the weirdest thing. It was so weird, but you have to watch it because it's, it honestly, it was like an episode, a Twilight Zone episode. That's what it would remind you of this movie. It was just like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Very interesting. It kept you uh, wondering what's going to happen next. What are they going to do next? If this happened to me, what would I do if I was in this situation? It gets weirder and weirder. You have to watch it. It's called Vivarium. Um, the next thing I watched was a, a documentary called Val. And it's a brand new documentary. Um, it's on Amazon Prime, a 2021 documentary. It's about Val Kilmer. And Val Kilmer... He, um, he has been basically, he's been filming himself since he was a little kid. Um, he and his, his brothers would, uh, make these, uh, videos and they would film themselves constantly. And so he has years and years and years of all this video saved up and he made this documentary and, um, I don't know if everybody knows, but he has had, um, he had like uh, throat, cancer. throat cancer. And so the only thing that I would have to say about it is that he's had a, uh, he has that uh, tracheotomy and it's hard to understand him. And so the only thing I wish they had done was when he's talking, I wish they had used subtitles. He probably could have turned subtitles on. And I don't mean to, well, I think they should have done it automatically. Yeah. Uh, because. They do that for people who are talking in Kentucky all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, people on the news, if you can't understand people on the news. <laughs> but, but, it's, but, but it's not, I'm not trying to insult him at all. No, it, just, um, it was hard to understand. It was hard to understand him. Uh, I just saw little pieces of it, so. It was very, very interesting. It looked interesting. And it's, um, he had video of like uh, Sean Penn when they were young. And it's different seeing them 
in a movie role than seeing them, hey, this is behind the scenes and this is a video camera. And they run was, around just be a teenager. Yeah, basically. and it was it was really interesting. So I'm, um, I wouldn't have ever necessarily said I was a Val Kilmer fan or anything like that, but I really enjoyed it. I like stuff like that. Uh, the next thing I watched was uh, a movie, uh, The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It came out in 2018. It's on Netflix. You can watch it. Um, and I tell you, I kept thinking through the whole thing. I thought this, the main character, she's so attractive. And it's because she played Sybil in Downton Abbey. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the, the gorgeous, yes, yeah, she was oh, she's gorgeous. She's the main character in this movie, and just the scenery itself is absolutely uh, breathtaking. But it was a really good movie. So, um, and then the last thing that I watched by myself is called The White Lotus. The White Lotus is 2021. It's on HBO Max. And it's funny because uh, here's another one that I don't know what, why I decided to click on it, but I did. And I didn't know anything about it. You would think because we went to Hawaii or something on vacation this year, that's why I chose the White Lotus. No, because I didn't have any clue about the White Lotus. The White Lotus was actually filmed um, on Maui. And it was filmed at like the Four Seasons in, uh, on the island of uh, Maui. And uh, it, if you like bizarre HBO shows, this is one of them. It oh, takes place, there are six episodes, and it takes place over six days at this resort. Hmm. And you get to know all these different people and honestly there is an event that happens during the very last episode that disturbed me so much if the if this i, ca I can't tell you what it is i know that that sucks but you have to watch it if you're interested if they had done what they did in the last episode if that scene had been in the first episode i wouldn't have watched the rest of it hmm. because it was something that was so disturbing that happened during the last episode that it would have scarred me and I would have been well, like... Well, you could say, is it, it, was it violence? Was it just... Uh, no. No? It was gross. It was okay. repulsive, disgusting. It was the grossest thing. If you listen to, let me just tell you, if you're offended by anything, don't watch it because it has everything that you can think of in your mind. It's in the show. So it was just a show to be offensive to everybody. Oh, listen, it is just... Sometimes you have those. It is the most... But but it was fascinating. Yeah. It was fascinating mm -hmm. enough to where I wanted to, like... Like, and eat, all the episodes weren't out. Um, I didn't start watching it until there was, like, five episodes were out, and I had one left. And I couldn't wait until the next week when the next one was going to come out mm -hmm. because it was so weird. It's like... And it, it, there was, there would be like, unc like you would feel uncomfortable for the people in this show. Um, <laughs> okay, the White Lotus. Now we're moving on to things that Kevin and Most I. Most of the other doing. stuff is going to be boring compared to those. <laughs> okay, we watched Pee Wee's Big Holiday. We did. We on with the grandkids. Uh, uh, we watch, yes, we watched it with the grandkids. It came out in 2016. It's on Netflix. They they liked it, but I think that's still more. Pee Wee Herman is one of those things that's mostly for adults. <laughs> I think so too. Because kids, it's so so deep that kids just get the very very surface level of it, um, and then the other stuff, the adults are going. Wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. And let me, I, I don't want to tell you who is in it. There is a person that stars, and he's one of the main people in this movie, besides Paul Rubens, besides Pee Wee Herman. He plays himself, too. And he plays himself. And that is the most, that's like a plot twist, because he, this man, good looking man, very, very well known man. And he's playing himself in yeah, this movie. It's, it's, it's an odd movie. 
It's very odd, but I enjoyed it. If you like Pee Wee Herman. If Herman, you like Pee Wee, then you should watch it. And it's about Pee Wee Herman going on vacation. He's going on holiday. He's going on vacation. I thought it was very entertaining. I thought it was funny. It but, was okay. But I have always really liked Pee Wee. I've had a thing about for Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, I never did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was one of these kids that watched... Um, Pee Wee's Playhouse? Uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. I think I saw like five yeah. episodes of that growing up. Yeah. Come in and place up at the chair. Yeah, I love it. The, I mean, so... Anyway. Um, we watched the movie... Black Widow on mm -hmm. Disney Plus. It was good. It was a good movie. You have to pay for it though. Even if you have Disney Plus, they're charging you thirty bucks if you want to see this. You're renting it. Um, you're renting it. Um, it's like going. It's like, hey, we could have went to the movie theaters for fifty bucks. Yeah. Or just stay at it's home. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah. It's ex well, and you can pause it. You if you yeah. have to. If the phone rings or if. Which if, usually happens. Three times during a movie. Yeah. yeah, or if you have to get up to go pee, or if which you, happens if ten you times want a, a, movie. a snack, you know, you decide I'm a little peckish. I need it, you know. Um, but it, uh, Black Widow. Was, it was a good movie. I thought it was good. It was um, the story was different than I would have thought, but it was it was entertaining. I thought it was fun. I it was. I loved it. I would watch it again. Would oh, you yeah. watch it again? Oh yeah, yeah, I would watch it again. Yeah. Just like any of those Marvel superhero kind of movies. It was very interesting, and you know, it wasn't as good as like I like like Iron Man and the um, just the Avengers movies a little bit better. But this was a good like side movie, just like I think Ant Man is kind of a side movie. Um, you know, this the was Hulk. better than Ant oh, Man. it was better than Ant Man. This I agree, was but, better than that other woman, um, not Captain America, but the other one. Oh uh, yeah, no Captain. No, 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 the woman. No, no, I know, I'm trying to think, and you've got that in my head now. <laughs> I can't think of her the, name. The woman. Yes, um, I know. Yes, much better than those. Anyway, um, I'll think of it in a second. You know Scarlett Johansson. It's not Captain Marvel, is it? I don't know. It's the woman, anyway. You know Scarlett Johansson is suing them. Yeah, because something with the streaming and being in theaters uh -huh. at the same time. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. So, but it, it, really good it is movie. Good another one that we rented uh, Disney Plus was a, another thirty dollars is The Jungle Cruise, mm -hmm. and that was um, cute. I liked it. It um, The Jungle Cruise is a cross between. Uh, Jumanji and Indiana Jones. Yeah, I agree. it really is. It's and honestly, I think to get the full, the full effect of the movie and to get all the jokes and stuff like that, you need to have experienced the Jungle Cruise, yeah. the actual ride, especially the beginning of the movie. Because it's it's Dwayne Johnson, uh, The Rock is is the main character, and he's telling all these jokes and all these. I think they're hilarious. Very pun based like dad joke. jokes. Yeah. Well, that's the whole That's joke. the whole ride. That's the whole ride at Disney. I mean, it's like one laugh after another. When you get on the Jungle Cruise ride at Walt Disney World, you need to be listening. You need to be listening the whole time because they're they're cracking joke after joke after joke. They're hilarious. They're so funny. And no matter how many times you hear them, they're still funny. And so in this movie, he is cracking these jokes. Um, I do think you have to be in the mood to watch it though. Um, you know, because Andrew, I it was fun. Andrew watched it at, well, Andrew started watching it and he said that he just wasn't enjoying it at all. It was a little, I mean, I thought it was goofy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. it, well, it was goofy, kind of like the ride. But, uh, then it got to where once things started going, the story was actually really, really good. And, and, the the what's going on and why they're there and all that stuff it's it's all an interesting story so and it I, does remind you a lot of indiana Jones. oh yeah yeah because they're yeah. doing an adventure kind of thing yeah so it, it even if you think it's kind of goofy at the beginning stick with it because it i thought it got much better yeah even towards even probably 45 minutes into it it's pretty good right um then we uh on um um, Amazon, we rented Corella, and Corella um, was thirty dollars as well. So thirty dollars—that's a theme here. Um, Corella what came out, a brand new movie, twenty twenty-one, and um, it stars uh, Emma Stone. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good movie too. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, and they're coming out with a part Loved two. Loved it. Are they? Yeah, they signed her for a part two. 
Um, a sequel. I don't know. They're, that just got released and announced, so who knows when. Was so interesting. It was good. It was a good story. It was a very good story. It's a good backstory for how, why Corella is like she is. Yes. Yeah. And, and the stories that, that are about her, you know, you kind of see where those came from. You know, it, it was good. And Emma Stone was very good. She in did that play role. a good she did play it really yes well. and and it's it's interesting just as well just to see the clothes mm -hmm. and the the settings and, and yeah, they did a good job yeah the whole thing is very interesting mm -hmm. um so if you had to pay for one of those again those are the three we paid for a truly, black widow it, jungle cruise and Cruella. it depends on what kind of movie you want to watch true i mean truthfully yeah because the, if you want to like an adventure superhero -y kind of movie which black widow is not really a superhero but it's kind of like that action -y kind of movie it's action packed yeah, it, it really is that's the movie you want to get if you want kind of a goofy funny adventure then Jungle Cruise was really good if you want just a really good um the story and and good costuming and good direction and good cinematics then then Cruella was really do good do you so. think Cruella is for kids no not really i mean kids some ki older kids would enjoy it mm -hmm. i think i think once they got to maybe 12 or 13 they might like it right but i don't think little kids would care anything about it. i don't either and so um when we we decided because the story is kind of deep yeah we decided to watch peewee's big holiday we're always trying to find things to watch with the kids that, watch that they haven't already watched and so it, that's hard sometimes and so i had considered watching corella and Kevin said, oh, I don't think they would be into that. And I was glad after we watched it that, yeah, that we didn't company. rent it with them. Because, yeah, the, I think Pee Wee is silly enough for them to enjoy. Right. Um, but not, not Corella. Corella was, uh, the story was a little deep for a, a young child. For them to have really understood. Yeah. What would have happened was they would have got bored after the first half hour and would have been running around and we wouldn't have gotten to watch it. That's true. That's yeah. what would have happened. <laughs> um, another one that we enjoyed, we watched the entire series on BritBox, was Damned. And Damned it's was... It's an older... Oh, not old, old, but it's it's done. It was on from twenty uh, from 2016 to 2018. Yeah, it's, it's off there. And if you... Most Americans probably don't know who Joe Brand is, but Joe Brand, if, if you watch The Great British Bake Off, there's a show that comes on after The Great British Bake Off that a lot of people don't get to see. It's called An Extra Slice. It's it's really funny, and what they do is they usually have th they Joe Brand is the, um, the host, the host, Hostess. and then they usually have three guests on, and, and they're usually stars of some kind in Britain. Yes, like Paul Hollywood's been on occasionally, there, and, yeah. and uh, they'll talk about or they'll have like a comedian. A comedian most of them it's a comedian, yeah, or some kind. and they'll they'll uh, talk about what's going on on the Great British Bake Off. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, that's. She was one of the main stars in the show Damned. Mm -hmm. And um, it's about basically social services in the UK. That's, it's the that's people, really what it is. The people that work in the office at social services and what the calls that they have to deal with, the home visits they have yeah, to make. The people that work there. The just, people that work there. It's kind of like the office with social services instead of the office. And it was really good. <laughs> it was, it was, it had, it had some silly moments, but, but a lot of it was, was pretty funny. I mean, it was, it's a comedy. Yes. It's, it's supposed to be funny yeah. and you have to have a sense of humor. You yeah. can't take everything really seriously or personally, which I think a lot of people over here, I don't know that the same show would fly because I don't know that people can step back and see certain things as this funny. Being, being quirky yeah, and, and funny. it's funny. Yeah. Um, another show that we both really enjoyed on Hulu is called This Way Up, mm -hmm. and it That's was in show. 2019. And um, I, I it's still on, I mean, they're still making episodes of it, or I think they are. This is such a good show, it is a good show. Um, it says a young woman puts her life back together after suf suf uh, suffering from a nervous breakdown. You know, that is such a vague, like, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, you find that out at the very that's beginning. That's a very small But that's part. really not a huge issue with, the, I mean, that's not a huge part of the show. It's really just about these two sisters. If you, if you, if you were to ask me to characterize the show, I would say it's basically based on these two sisters and them living their lives. I mean, that's literally. And their relationship with each yeah, other. Yeah. And with other people. And the other and, people And around. that's what it's really about. It's not about her, um, have anything going on. It's, and the, the, the. And their relationship, by the way, is absolutely hilarious. 
And Kevin loves the main girl. Um, her name is, I don't, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. It's A-I-S-L-I-N-G. Aisling? Um, Aisling B. She was an Irish comedian. And she was actually in the show Trolley. Mm -hmm. So, Kevin, we're like, we've seen her somewhere. I've heard her voice. We, yes, amazing. her voice was very familiar. Well, she was in Trolley. That's where we first saw her. And then the other girl, her name is Sharon Horgan. I watched a show by myself, which I'm going to get Kevin to watch because I'm going to have to watch it again with Kevin. Um, it's called Catastrophe. And it's on Amazon Prime. So if you get Amazon Prime, Catastrophe, I, I'm sad that it went off. It was a wonderful, wonderful show. And it starred this Sharon Horgan. So those two women play the sisters. And it's terrific. Yeah, they did a really good job. Page so two. then... Uh, we watched uh, Lupin, which mm -hmm. is on Netflix, and it's we, a good show. This is the newest season of Lupin. It's part two. Yes, and uh, it's it's in French, but they've got English dub overs, so you're hearing them speak English, but their mouths are moving in French. <laughs> yes, but I think that's a really good way to do it. It is. They do that with a lot of Japanese like anime and stuff. They'll, they'll, although some people swear it don't do the English dubs, use the subtitles. Right. Because the, the speaking the Japanese sounds so much better right. than hearing the English dub over anyway. It's, they, I, they do a good job of it. I mean, it sounds like they've got actresses and actresses and actors that matched the characters pretty well. So. Yes, and I love him. I think he's wonderful. Yeah, he's cool. Um, uh, it's a good show. Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. On That's Netflix. A, it's odd, but it's really good. Sweet Tooth, I absolutely love. It is... Um, it. This is how it's described. So I'm not giving any spoilers in this this video at all. A boy who is half human and half deer survives in a post-apocalyptic world with other hybrids. And I know to some people what I just said was complete <laughs> gibberish and you're thinking that sounds like the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. Oh, it is far-fetched. I mean, let's not be wrong, but you learn why it happens or you kind of learn what happens pretty early. I think it's the most wonderful. It's a good show. It really it is a good story. It is. And, and this is a, this is a family show, but I think the kids need to be older. Yeah. You wouldn't want a because, six or seven year old watching it. Yeah. Like because there are dark things. There are very. There's some fighting and some. Events. And there's underlying dark. Yeah. That's true. Uh, things that could really dwell in your mind. So I do think if you've got the right age kid uh, or a mature kid, uh, so like, what do you think? Like 10? Probably, yeah, probably as a minimum. I would say so. 10. And, um, and to really understand what's going on, they'd have to be a little older anyway. It, I, I think it's phenomenal. It's I a really like, good show. And it sounds goofy and, and silly, but it really is good. And the first... You, you really, uh, they did a really good job of you caring about the characters. Yes. I mean, that's one of the biggest things. Because some shows you watch and you're like, well, that person died. Who cares? You know? Right. This one, something, even just something goes bad for, for the person in the in the show. And you're like, wow, I really feel bad for them. You know? Yes. I mean, literally, you feel it. I so, love the actors, actresses. Mm -hmm. They did um, a good job. The music that they use is terrific. And this is just the first season. They will have... They're working yes. on the second one. So, the, it is one. Don't don't uh, skip on that one. Yeah, it, it's really good. It is a... Stick with it at least for a couple episodes. If you don't like it after the second episode, you're probably not going to like it. But but stick with it at yes, least Yes, please watch the first two episodes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a show that's been on for years that we have just found... It, Master Chef. Oh yeah. Master Chef. Uh, comes and the only reason, Fox. the only reason Tammy wanted to watch it this time was because it was the Legends and and like Paula Dean. Paula and, Dean's on and there. And Emerald Lagasse was going to be on there. Paula Dean like was going to be on there, and I said, "Oh my gosh, Paula Dean's going to be on this show." Called... And of course, we didn't know anything about the show. Didn't so. know one thing about it. So this season, we have gone in and we're like, "Oh wow, this is a really." Really this is good, interesting show. competition. Show. Yeah, it is. It's uh, yeah. They they bring in all these people um, in the very first show, and they compete to even get on. 
And I swear it looks like they're filming it where Hell's Kitchen used it's, to be I think filmed. it's the same guy. Well, Hell's Kitchen still comes on. Oh, uh, well, see, we used to watch Hell's Kitchen back in the day. We don't watch it anymore. We used to watch it. It looks like they're filming it where Hell's Kitchen was what I remember where it was yeah. filmed. It, seems, it does look like the same restaurant but it, or same it, set. If you like cooking competitions, that's what this is, yeah, MasterChef. And, yeah, we are really, really enjoying it. So yeah. every week when it comes on, um, we usually record it and watch it the next day. But, yeah, we're keeping up with that. Um, okay, there's one on Disney Plus. Um, it's called Behind the Attraction. Mm -hmm. Only half of the episodes have come out. Did so we far. finish that? Yes, yes we finished we've it. Yep. Okay, so I can't remember if we'd watch the last one or not. Behind the Attraction, this, like I said, brand new show. The first episode was about the Jungle Cruise, and I'm sure because of all the hoopla with the movie and stuff like that, and they're trying to get more press about the movie. There, this is what is uh, how it came to be yeah it's kind of like the history and how it got built and uh, who designed it and how they designed it and why they did this and it, it's really interesting so and it's not just an engineering kind of like this is how they engineered it. it's not like how it's made it's more of a more just history but it has the a lot, really it has some of that too though yeah it has some of that you know this is how we designed this this is uh this is how we made it do this, you know. And if you care about Walt Disney, it gives like why he wanted to do this and, mm -hmm. and where he was in his life when this was going on and all that. The second episode was about the Haunted Mansion. The third episode was called Star Tours. The fourth episode was the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And the fifth episode was called Space Mountain. And so those are the only episodes that have come out so far. On August 25th, the other five episodes are going to be released. That's all same. of them. They're going to be about the castles, Disneyland Hotel, It's a Small World, uh, trains, trams, and monorails, and then the last one is going to be the Hall of Presidents. Yeah. So they they kind of went back. And looked at some of the older stuff. Yeah. So those, some of the older stuff are neat because Walt was actually involved in those. Mm -hmm. um, some of the newer stuff, like the Tower of Terror, he was he didn't know he that he was never touched that. No. Never even thought about that. Um, so what has been out of the first five that we saw? What has been your favorite episode so far? Ooh, that's hard to say. Um, you have Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion, Star Tours, Twilight Zone. And, the first one was a little slow to me. Space Mountain. I have to be honest. The first one was a little slow. I thought it was too. But ever since then, I was like, was that the same? I even looked on the second, after the second episode, I looked at it and I said, was that the same length as the first one? Because it went by like really, really fast. Yeah. Um, so that just shows you how interesting it was after that. I don't know which one. I think all of them are interesting. They're all, all really good history and stuff. So I don't know which one would be a favorite, honestly. I don't know. Well, my one of my very, very favorite rides is the Haunted Mansion. So I was really into yeah. that one. I, I I loved it. They're and, all interesting though. Yes. I think it's interesting how they did the Tower of Terror and how, how it came to be and how they designed it and stuff. That was kinda of Yes. Cool. Have you ever watched the movie The Tower of Terror? Mm hmm See, I think Ashley and I watched that together when she was little. Is that, it was really good. Is that kind of, um um Oh now you're asking me who's in it? Um, and I, I, Eddie Murphy in it? No, that's... That's Haunted Mansion. That's the Haunted Mansion. Okay. Yeah, Tower of Terror. I, don't, I think it had Kristen Dunst in it. I, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't, I don't know why anyway. I think that. I, I mean, could I be completely it. wrong, but that's what I... I mean, because I've seen it once, and it was when Ashley was little. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah, I've never seen that one. Um, another show that we have been watching is called uh, The Hotel Inspector. Mm -hmm. And you can watch those episodes on YouTube. Yeah. So, they may um, have all of them, but they got a bunch of them. Yeah, and they're full episodes. So it's this woman, her name is Alex Polizzi, I think's her name. And she goes into these hotels in the UK and basically it's like that show with Gordon Ramsay where he goes into the restaurants. Yeah. But she's going into hotels and she's letting them know they're like losing money and they're like in She's helping them turn their business business around. Yes, it is. It's so been on for like sixteen seasons. Yes. So, it's, so we it's have not a lot a more show. to watch. Yeah. yeah. But it is so fantastic. I love it. It is good. It's I absolutely love it. And she, she's she's a really likable person mm -hmm. too. Um, and she speaks her mind. Uh, she 
is just not afraid to, to tell these people uh, this is the problem, even if they are the problem. Yeah, you're the problem. Yeah, you're the problem. <laughs> you're why this business is failing. Right. Um, it's a really good show. And then the last one I want to talk about, and I saved this one for last on purpose because I think a lot of people that watch my channel probably do not watch the show and will not have any interest in the show, and that is American Horror Stories. Now, this isn't American Horror Story. This is American Horror Stories. So, this has, um, each episode is, uh, well, almost each episode is like a completely different, like, you know, like the Twilight Zone is different episodes. This is different stories. I think of these more like creep show. Yes. Yes. This these is these like are very, show. very, very similar to creep show. Yes. Shows, episodes. I agree. Yeah. Um, because they're all, they're a little quirky and a little strange and, a, and sometimes they have twisty little things going on. So, yeah, very, very creep showish. Yeah, no, I agree completely. The first two episodes. Uh, there were a part one and part two. There was a part one and part, yeah, the first two episodes. And they take place in Murder House. So if you ever watched American Horror Story, if you watched season, season one, Murder House, that's where these first two episodes take place. And what was cool was uh, Cindy Crawford's daughter, Kaya Gerber, is in these first two episodes. She looks just like Cindy Crawford, yeah, I think. She does look a little Um So it's like you're watching a young Cindy Crawford. It's, it's, it's really cool, and she's, she's tall and she's gorgeous and but it's like if Cindy Crawford had acted when she was young this is what she would look like so that was cool uh, to see Murder House in the first two episodes the third episode was about a drive-in and these get progressively gorier yeah they do <laughs> the fourth the first one really, I mean it had a little bit just like any American Horror Story does but yeah the fourth episode was a parody of some YouTubers. And I'm not going to say the YouTubers' names because I don't like them. Yeah, you'll, you'll know I when you watch them. I do not like these YouTubers They're at making all. fun of them 100%. You but can tell. Yes, yeah, yes. Episode four is completely making fun of this YouTuber's channel. And if you've ever seen their channel, you, you know, yeah. when you get to episode four, you know, they are totally making fun of these people. I understand why they're making fun of these people. And okay. So the fifth episode was about a woman who could not get pregnant. Ah, okay. Yeah. I remember that one. The sixth episode was about a, a family that goes on a camping trip. Yeah. And there's something in the woods. Right. And then the very last episode, we go back again to Murder House. Yeah. We go back and, and if, if my sister, her biggest question was, do you see characters from the original American Horror Story, do you see them throughout this show? You see a couple of the characters in the very last episode. Yeah. Yeah, at Just least a few. two. Yes. Two for sure. Three, kind of. Kind of three. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're thinking of, uh, well, I won't give anything away. They, in my I mean, opinion, character characters you see a bunch. You see but, a bunch. But as far as the, you know for sure that that's that person. You um, definitely see two. Two, a hundred percent, kind of a third. Um. <laughs> We feel like that they really missed an opportunity here, though, because each episode they did Murder House, Murder House, and then the last episode was back to Murder House. They could have taken each season of American Horror Story and they could have, like, Asylum. Or at least some of the seasons. They could have put a, uh, a situation back in those places mm -hmm. and done their whole show. Yeah, it could have even been before Asylum took place because weird stuff was going on before we saw the, the, that season. Right. The carnival thing, that that would have been interesting. It would have been neat. So, so to there's go all kinds back. of stories they could have done. Yes, it would have been neat to go back to those places during the each of these episodes 
and to be able to, like you were back in Murder House. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It was cool to see that house again. It would have been cool to be back in the asylum again. It would have been cool to be back like one American Horror Story to, was Roanoke. It would have been neat to go back to in Roanoke again, back in the woods, back in that old plantation house. Uh, one uh, season... The carnival would have been interesting. Carnival would have been neat. One season took place in a neighborhood where... Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. But, it, but they missed an opportunity. That season what was I'm boring. Saying. It was boring, but what I'm saying is they missed an opportunity... They could have went back. ...to go back for each episode, to go back to those places. Yeah. It would have just tied it in. The, the first two episodes... Um, were American Horror Story stories, but but it was American Horror Story. Um, the rest of them beyond the last one, and the last one was just bare like it was kind of American Horror Story. But the other ones in between was more Creep Show. It was. Very... It could have been called Creep Show, and instead of American Horror Stories, and you would have known it would. You would have said okay. Yes, it very very graphic. Yeah, well, some creep. No, they didn't use like blood and gore in, in Creep Show, but the stories. I mean, you. It was at a time when they didn't have a lot of blood and gore on TV too. So they would have if it was nowadays. Uh, one more thing I want to mention in the very last episode, and I can tell you this because it's in the very, very beginning. In the very last episode, this guy and girl walk in murder house. And I told Kevin, I said, that girl sounds like Miley Cyrus. She, her voice, if you just listen to her voice, I said, she sounds just like Miley Cyrus. Kevin looked her up, it's her sister. And I didn't even know, I think her name is like Noah or so. I don't know what her name is. But anyway, I didn't even know she was an actress. I had no idea about Miley Cyrus' sister. But if, just know that if you're watching it, you could hear in her voice, because they don't look alike. They really it's don't. Very, very slightly. Yeah, they really don't look much alike at all. But you hear Miley Cyrus's voice in her, and so it was neat to be able to pick that out mm -hmm. of there. Um, but it, it, if you've never watched it before, just know that it's not for kids. No. It's, it's extremely Definitely graphic. I don't watch the bloody parts. Yeah, she turns her head. I turn my head. Um, so I don't get that, that visual in my head at all. I don't want to see it. And you know when it's going to happen. It's no. not like it's a surprise or anything like Most that. Most of the time. Yeah. Occasionally you'll get a... Wow, <laughs> that yeah. just happened. But, but, but most of the time, it's most not. of the time, you know, it's, yeah. it's gonna. Happen. I, I thought the first two episodes were really good. I thought the last one was pretty decent. Um, the drive-in one was okay because I kind of liked the ending. But the rest of them, the eh. one about the YouTubers was just. Oh, I could have never watched that again. I would be perfectly fine. Um, honestly, most of the other ones, the the pregnant one and the um, I don't even remember what the other one was. Um, they were just okay. Yeah, you have a... Uh, what was after the pregnant one? You have the drive-in, yeah, the, like the, okay. the YouTubers, yeah. the pregnant one. Oh, the family going camping in the woods. It was okay. It was... When Kevin says creep show, that was absolutely... When you think about the last words that were spoken in that episode, yeah. total creep show. Yeah, 100% creep show. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that is what we've been watching lately. Besides regular shows that we always watch. Well, a lot of the shows that we, well, like MASH, we're still working our way through MASH, right. um, and we've gotten pretty far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've gotten really far in that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Tears have been shed during MASH. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, but a lot of our shows have not come back on yet. They don't come on until like October, like right. Young Sheldon and things like that don't come on until, um, it's the Connors. Mm -hmm. Shows like that haven't come back on. I, uh, Survivor's going to come back on. I'm sure yeah, Amazing Race. this month, I think. I'm sure Amazing Race will come back on. Uh, so, you know, things like that we, we haven't been watching, uh, but we wanted to get you caught up with what we have been watching. So, if you watch any of these shows, feel free, you know. Especially I, the American Horror Stories. I'd be interested to hear what other people thought about them. What, did you think they were good or a yeah. waste of time? And what do you think about our idea? Because I really do think... And my sister, I think my sister was kind of bummed out too because she was hoping that like Evan Peters, she was hoping that uh, Evan Peters would uh, make an appearance or that, uh, I cannot think of her name, the main woman. Um, 
I cannot think of her name right now. Anyway, they you, mentioned her. You yeah. would hope that she would get brought. Uh, uh, that Paulson? she would make an. Uh, Sarah Paulson, thank you. You would hope that she would make an appearance throughout here somewhere. She doesn't. So I do think that uh, an opportunity was missed to tie you into the other seasons because each show could have tied you into a, a different season and it didn't. Um, anyway, yeah, it'll be yeah, interesting let us know what to hear. You think. Yeah, hear what you have to say. But I hope you enjoyed uh, getting to hear our thoughts and thanks for watching.